Hey guys, welcome to Life by Zareen. I just wanted to welcome you to our YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, definitely click on like the video, subscribe to our channel. And every Monday we typically have different DIYs or a different topic about a specific essential oil. So what today's class is going to be about, it's going to be a sneak peek as to what some of the benefits are that you receive as part of our doTERRA team. So this is actually one of the continuing education classes that I'm going to be sharing with you that's recorded where we will be talking about women's health and hormones. This is such an important topic that we don't address enough in our day-to-day -day lives. And I will be talking about some of the essential oils that you can use, as well as some of the supplements that you can use to support your health and hormones. Whether or not you realize there are underlying issues with your hormones, you might be getting your periods regularly, and you might not realize that there still might be an issue with your hormones because there are so many different things that having a hormonal balance can interact with, whether it be your sleep, your mood, your weight, um, different immune issues. There are so many different things that interrelate with your hormones. And this video is not just for women because a lot of it also does apply to men as well as some of the supplements and the essential oils that I do talk about throughout the class can also be used for men. Um, so that's where it definitely go through the next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome to Continuing Education Week 7. My name is Zareen Barda and I'm a part of the Continuing Education Collective group of wellness educators that have put together this material for you because we know how valuable having a doTERRA membership is. We also know that if you're just getting started with your oils, you might not be aware of all of the ways the oils can serve you. So this 30 minute class is designed to showcase one specific area of health and introduce a few key products that are very supportive in that area. It's a great way to better understand what products you might like to build through your membership through the LRP program to target your specific health goals. So to wrap things up, I also look forward to sharing with you a bit about the doTERRA business opportunity. So if you are absolutely loving your oils, which I'm sure you are, we will be more than happy to share with you the possibility of sharing oils with other people. So at the end of the class, I will spend about five minutes exploring that and we'll do that together. So now let's get to today's topic women's health and hormones. But before we get started, did you know that if you complete all eight modules in this continuing education series, you will receive a free gift. I won't spoil the surprise by telling you what that is, but check with the person who invited you to participate in this series for the details. Plus, you'll get a VIP invite for an upcoming customer appreciation invite, which as far as we can tell you will be a virtual party in the new year. So let's begin. So let's talk about hormones. Hormones are absolutely wonderful. They're the chemical messenger that are constantly play at play in our bodies. They regulate everything from temperature to heartbeat, to blood sugar, to fertility, from mood to even our sleep. And I'm going to barely touch on a few of these things for estrogen, phytoestrogen, xenoestrogens. So you'll see me kind of touch upon these topics throughout the presentation, as well as the products that will be able to support you on that journey. So to start with, what I want to do is let's rate ourselves and we'll do that on a scale of one to 10. So for the first one, how is your monthly cycle? Are you having days where it is absolutely unbearable? Are your periods extremely long? Do you have extreme PMS and cramping, moodiness, breakouts? Where are you at? And this is also where you can also take into perspective if you are at the menopause stage. How are your cycles as you're reaching menopause or going through menopause? Because health and hormones doesn't just mean at a time when a woman is having a period. It occurs before, just before, prior to the hormonal changes of getting her period, as well as afterwards as the menstrual cycles are kind of finishing off. So I want you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 for those two items. Then are there signs of hormonal imbalance that you have? So are there areas of hormonal imbalance or hormonal balance that are difficult for you? 
Are you having issues with hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, adrenal fatigue, difficulty losing weight, mood swings, trouble sleeping, infertility, poor memory, type 2 diabetes, anything else that you might want to talk about? Take a note, either take a screenshot of this or just write this down with a pen and paper and come back to the person that enrolled you or invited you and let's have a sit down one on one conversation to discuss where you or where your hormones are at currently and how we can help you make them better. So the next thing is when we look at the female reproductive system, it includes the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the cervix, external genitalia, as well as the breasts and it works closely with other systems. For example, the pancreas. I know, for example, for my particular body, my liver health is my total key to balance my hormones, whereas each person is different. And that's where you need to take a holistic approach when you are trying to balance and regulate your hormones. So when looking at your ovaries, they secrete estrogen and progesterone, which are critical for fertility, and they both play a key role in a woman's emotional, and physical health. So one thing to remember is that you cannot outrun a bad diet. No matter how many oils or supplements you take or substitutions that you try to make, you cannot substitute what your body needs to nourish itself. So that's where we are going to guide you along the path of a complete solution where we don't want you just to be using the oils. We want to make sure that you are making this a sustainable lifestyle choice. So that way this does benefit you for the long run. So to start with is we're gonna talk about Lifelong Vitality, which is a product that kind of helps fill in those back gaps for nutritional deficiencies. So even for example, if you are eating a super healthy diet, you are eating all your fruits and vegetables, you are eating all your proteins, your healthy fats, even with that, due to the soil quality, there are still gaps in our, the nutritional value that we face today. So this is where it's a key in our home where it's packed with antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, vitamins, and minerals. This is key to just having that baseline of health. And this is perfect where you can take it while you travel or if you haven't had a chance to eat the best food all day, uh, this is where you can take it as a supplement as well. So this product contains omega fatty acids, three, five, six, seven, and nine. So when we're looking at women's health and hormones, we have to ensure that we as women are intaking the correct and the right amount of healthy fats. This is what helps us regulate our hormones and also nourish the skin. It also assists with reducing brain fog and so many other wonderful things. So one of the facts about the E-Omegas is that it is actually self-preserved with essential oils in the capsules, as well as azanthum, which is a very powerful antioxidant. So another um, point is the Alpha CRS. This is the perfect gentle daily antioxidant, which is, works as almost a very gentle liver cleanse. So this kind of helps the liver work optimally and it contains a powerhouse of ingredients. And this is kind of where that lifelong vitality pack is pretty much your baseline where you want to start with for anything, whether it is energy, fatigue, and that's kind of where it all kind of comes back to your health and your hormones. So when you are having your wellness consult, if you've just started with your oils or if you've used your oils for five or six years, I would definitely at least try implementing this in your life because the Lifelong Vitality Pack is so important. Give it a try, see how you feel after one month. So the next product that we'll highlight on is the Bone Nutrient. And this is another great supplement where, especially for people that are needing that extra nutrition for bone strengthening, this is so important where we don't wanna wait until we're beyond our 50s, where we see our bodies depleting calcium levels. We want to take a more preventative stance on this, where we allow our bodies to create that healthy storage and create that healthy and strong skeletal system, so that way it is able to continue on long past our 50s and we don't see that bone neutral, uh, that depletion of calcium. And this is a perfect complement to the phytoestrogen that I'm gonna be talking about next. 
So before we actually get into the supplement itself, I want to give you a little bit of background about the phytoestrogen and our hormones that are actually existing in our body. So let's talk a bit about estrogen and xenoestrogen. So to start, here's a bit of a refresher for people that might not know that much about the hormones in their bodies. So estrogen directly affects a women's growth and development and acts as a regulator for the reproductive system. So at the beginning of a women's cycle, which is around 28 to 30 days is a typical cycle, when you approach ovulation, your estrogen is typically higher and then post ovulation, your estrogen is lower and your progesterone becomes more dominant. And that's what you're hoping for. What I want to explain to you is what I had understood from Dr. Hill, where estrogen is such a good thing and it can bind to those cell receptor sites right there. However, there's another bully on the block where it's called xenoestrogen. This foreign type of estrogen, it then basically tries to synthetically imitate estrogen, where it jumps in front of estrogen itself. So what that does is a xenoestrogen acts as the bully and gets ahead of the good estrogen and binds to the cell receptor site and sends a lot of unintended signals and causes a lot of havoc. So what the body is not getting is the good estrogen signs and it's getting the bad estrogen signs. So what are xenoestrogens? Xenoestrogens are the chemicals that are widely used in industrial compounds. So these can be found in canned food, plastics, household cleaners, pesticides, beauty products, PCBs, BPAs, phthalates, these have all estrogenic effects on the body and can give that false sense of estrogen dominance. And that's where these are things that we use on a regular basis. And we need to just make ourselves aware that fragrance, pollutions, medications, personal care products, these all contain those xenoestrogens that are then altering our hormones. Whereas this is where I want you guys to be aware Take a look at the ingredients in your products. See how they're sourced. Start trying to clean out your life um, to basically make it cleaner and to basically allow yourself to have that fighting chance to allow the good estrogen to be prominent and to not allow that bully in your life. So what doTERRA has done is they have also started expanding their categories outside of oils. And that's kind of where you'll see a lot of these supplements where you might not have known doTERRA has. They also have a lot of lifestyle products. So for example, your hair care, shampoos, conditioners, um, toothpaste, deodorants, and these are all natural products, household cleaners. These are all ones that none of them contain xenoestrogen ingredients. And that automatically takes out that environmental factor from your body being exposed to it. So this gives your body the fighting chance to right the wrongs of the xenoestrogens. So when it comes to xenoestrogens, you want to use the phytoestrogen complex. So don't be confused by the name where some people feel that they might have too much estrogen and feel that they are estrogen dominant. What is actually contained in this product is soy, flax, and pomegranate. So wait a minute, let me get, give me a minute to explain what the soy is, because I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why am I taking soy in this? So this is where doTERRA makes sure they are sourcing the right ingredients to ensure that they are getting to the root of your concerns. So these are the herbal components, which are absolutely wonderful for creating a balance. This helps balance the excess estrogen and get rid of the xenoestrogen. So what it actually does, it, it eats up the bad estrogen xenoestrogen that are clogging up the receptor sites. So it eats it up and then it allows for the good estrogen to get to where it needs to go. So this has been so powerful because it is truly the place where people should start with. For anyone that is having unwanted symptoms associated with their menstrual cycle, this is the perfect starting point. Anyone that has to sleep with heating pads for a couple days each month, this is also great to kind of help balance that out. 
one ingredient, as I mentioned, that you might be concerned about is the soy. So this is actually a fermented soy extract. So when you consider fermented soy, it is a non-genetically modified component so that it is not the bad soy that you would find added to foods or ones that you want to avoid. This is a completely different product. So soy can be a beautiful thing. And this is where it helps promote healthy breast tissue and balance the hormones in both men and women. So men also in particular have xenoestrogen issues. And I know that yes, they don't get their periods, they don't have monthly cycles, but they also are exposed to the same xenoestrogens that women are. Maybe not to the same extent because they might not be having as many of the beauty products, but they're still being exposed to it. So that's kind of where this product, the phytoestrogen complex, can be used by both men and women. One other thing that's in this is the pomegranate, which is absolutely a powerful antioxidant. So if you are having imbalanced cycles, um, if you are having major mood swings, if you are having issues with a lot of pain during your cycles, this is a great supplement to be taking throughout your cycle. And again, the instructions are on the bottle and you'll be able to find all the support that you need from us. So the next product is Rose. If you guys are listening to this, October, I hope you guys took advantage of the Rose essential oil where it was the 15% discount. Otherwise, Rose is again, one of my top five oils. This is an absolute wonderful uh, oil for hormonal and emotional balance where it is great to help get relief from hormonal discomfort. So this is where you can roll it onto the lower parts of your abdomen, the inner parts of your ankles, so where the reflex points are, roll it over top of your heart. It can help boost your libido and also promote regular ovulation. So Rose with Melissa is great postpartum to use for balancing hormones, feelings of sadness, and this gives us such a calm emotional balance to help the body make that transition. And this is kind of where, if you missed out on the opportunity to get that pre-diluted version of the rose oil, grab a couple girl girlfriends of yours that are wanting to get rose oil. Go ahead and then split out that 5 ml bottle so that way when you do make your own roller bottles, each person can get 10 drops out of that. So each 5 ml bottle has about 87 drops. So that's about eight people at least can split on that bottle and each one kind of gets 10 drops out of there, which gives you a nice roller bottle. And that's where you have to realize that the rose oil is so potent. It's so beautiful. I use it one drop in my face oil that lasts me about a month. So it is such an amazing oil and the aroma is, you can't beat it. So another hero when it comes to women's health is Clary Sage. It has a slightly floral uh, smell to it, whereas the Clary Calm has a blend of the Ylang Ylang, geranium, lavender, as well as the Clary Sage, which are all wonderful oils for women's health and hormones. So while I won't talk about all of them today, I do want to focus on this blend of Clary Calm, where that has basically all of those oils put together into a beautiful 10 ml roller bottle. So this is a strong oil, but you can apply it daily across your abdomen, where I have had a lot of mothers ask if their 12 year olds or 15 year olds are able to use it, and they absolutely can. Anyone can use it, and this is great for hormonal balancing. It's also great for heavy periods. PMS, cramping, hot flashes, period pains, and mood swings. It has bergamot in it, palmarosa, lavender, clary sage, Roman chamomile, and it's an absolutely wonderful blend. And again, if someone doesn't like the aroma to it, put it on the bottom of your feet. Use it on the reflex points. So that's kind of where you can put it on the inner part of your ankles and then just put your socks over top of it so that way you're not smelling it as much. So that's where each of these oils, again, if you're not familiar if you don't like the aromas as much always use the bottom of your feet they are a great absorption they have the largest pores so that's where you're also getting the best benefit so now with the endocrine system we're going to basically talk about the different components of the endocrine system where it directly involves in the growth and development metabolism nutrient regulation, and overall homeostasis. So we'll come back to each of these points shortly to discuss how to care for each of these areas. So for the endocrine system, you have your hypothalamus, your pituitary gland, your pineal gland, your thyroid glands, your thymus, your pancreas, your ovary, your adrenals, your testicles, and your placenta. 
male or female associated. So that's kind of where essential oils are so important because they're circulated the same way as a circulatory system and they're beneficial to the cells they encounter in the process. So that's where, remember that even just a couple of drops on the bottom of your feet are still as impactful as putting it on your temples or the back of your neck. So if you are wanting to focus on your liver, this is one of my favorites, um, is taking care of your liver. Your liver is a huge part of how the rest of your body functions. It is the underpinning of hormonal balance. Everything gets filtered through the liver, so it needs that extra love, whatever you can give it. So again, drink plenty of water, half of your body weight, but put that in ounces instead of pounds. So if I'm 150 pounds, I want to drink at least half of that in ounces, so 75 ounces of water daily. So our body is made up mostly of water, so we need to constantly be replenishing it. This is where Slim and Sassy is wonderful, as it contains oils like grapefruit, the Zendocrine Detoxification Blend also contains grapefruit in it, where grapefruit is a really good oil for as a lymphatic cleanser. And the lymphatic system is basically the garbage pail of our body taking away the waste. So that's where making sure you're getting that lymphatic drainage on a regular basis is so important. Whether that be through supplements, whether that be through the oils, or whether that be through massages or dry massages or dry brushing, there's so many different ways that you can allow your body to get um, the lymphatic drainage that it needs to be, have. And that's where the Zendocrine, in the Zendocrine, it also has geranium, which is really good for renewing the lymphatic um, system and sorry, renewing the liver and it's also a great balancer. So between lemon, slim and sassy, putting it on your liver would be a great option, and then using the Zendocrine soft gels, um, or even using the Zendocrine complex, so which is just the essential oil bottle, which isn't shown. But that's kind of where doTERRA has, like any of these supplements that you're seeing that have the oils in capsules, they are enterically coated capsules, so that way, the essential oils are dissolving in the correct locations that they need to be dissolving in. And that's where it's extremely beneficial to be taking a capsule supplement or applying topically the oils across the area of concern that you're wanting to focus on. So another one is if you're looking for a healthier pancreas, this is where the Slim and Sassy comes in. And in Canada, it's called Smart and Sassy, same blend, no difference just a slightly different name, where with this one, it's great where it allows you to regulate your blood sugar and also eliminate the excess water. So you can take two to three drops of the essential oil three times a day, as well as this is great to use when you're wanting to focus on your metabolism. So if you don't like the taste of the Slim and Sassy uh, essential oil, the soft gels are a perfect example where you can use that or you can add the drops into the veggie capsules that doTERRA also has. So this also, again, contains grapefruit, gets rid of that excess water, peppermint and ginger are in there to kind of rev up your metabolism while also soothing your gut. And then cinnamon is there to kind of help balance that blood sugar, which again is so good for your pan pancreas. So this is kind of where if you're looking for that extra support, you can also add coriander internally or rub it on top of your liver area. So these are all just extra boosts that you can give your body for some extra love. So now moving on to your adrenal system. This is kind of where it's so important where now a lot of women are facing adrenal fatigue and this is basically just an excess of stress that is constantly being there. And if you're wondering where are your adrenals, if you know where your kidneys are, they're basically just above your kidneys. So if you take your hands and place them on the palm, like if you place the palms on your lower back, right there are where your kidneys are and then your adrenals are just slightly above that. So the adrenals and the thyroid are very, very closely related, where many times if your thyroid is having trouble, especially long-term, most likely it's your adrenals that are having trouble as well. So this is where it has to do with energy and cortisol production. Cortisol is that hormone that is like the sunshine hormone. When you wake up in the morning, your body gives you a boost of cortisol when you naturally get out of bed and get going. 
and at nighttime it is melatonin so cortisol for the day and melatonin for the night what happens is that a lot of the time we're tired uh, under too much stress our bodies are bogged down in balances with our thyroid and our adrenals are having to pump out a lot of energy now what is amazing is that there is a connection between cortisol and progesterone progesterone is very important for preparing the uterus for conception and plantation for a viable pregnancy but it is a natural anti-inflammatory in the body where a lot of people find themselves estrogen dominant and low in progesterone so what i believe for my body it is when your body needs to produce enough extra cortisol and it's not there it will actually use progesterone which is a precursor to cortisol so it will actually steal the progesterone to do other things in the body and take it to act as cortisol so your body does this out of survival where it does that to keep you alive so what we can do is that if we can really start to balance those adrenals and give them tons of love and support it will then in turn help the body stop taking the progesterone away and that's one of the big things is with a lot of women facing infertility issues it is usually due to constant repetitive stress um, and it's sometimes women just don't even realize it because these are things that we have just accepted as a norm for our lives and that's kind of where we need to take a step back use some of these oils to support our journey but also realize that it has to be a lifestyle change to make those differences so this has made such a huge difference in my own hormonal health care so when we get to want, when we need to get the adrenals to calm down and to take a break one thing i do is i use magnolia so magnolia actually has three times the linalool of lavender which is that calming factor and that's so amazing where magnolia comes in that 10 ml again roll on apply this to your adrenals daily it is such a game changer so either maybe around lunchtime as well as then again around 8 or 9 p.m and then if you really need to focus on your adrenals you need to get in bed when you feel that first bout of sleep so how many of us either like at eight or nine o'clock start getting sleepy push through it and then get like that second burst of energy and then again you're drowsy like a couple hours later don't do that that's your body telling you you need to rest so don't push through it and sleep later give yourself that body give yourself that acknowledgement saying okay i'm gonna do this even if you start a couple days a week when your body is telling you that you're exhausted do it see how that automatically changes and affects your hormones so the next one is the mito 2 max which is also incredible for the adrenals where it has the mitochondrial energy so this is the cofactor blend that has the components of the alpha lac acid and the q10 and these are what are going to have so that you don't have to reach out for that coffee and you can take two capsules of the mito 2 max you can take them as soon as you wake up and then again if you're getting through like that afternoon slump you can take another one or two capsules then as well and this also has oligonol in it which is a natural stimulus which helps you keep that sustained focus so this is a big one for your adrenals there's an adaptive blend of cordyceps which is that superfood mushroom which is amazing for the adrenals and it is so calming and soothing so if your adrenals are needing some extra love and support i highly recommend the mito 2 max and the magnolia and you take them at night before you go to sleep to get that extra soothing support so even though the mito 2 max is available for extra energy during the day it can also allow your body to soothe itself and get some sleep and that's where essential oils and these blends are so amazing where they have multiple purposes that as you start using them and integrating them into your life you will realize that one oil is not just for one thing it can be used for probably a hundred different ailments and supports for your lifestyle so the next one is the thyroid that we're going to just touch upon if you have any thyroid imbalance know that it is not a lifelong sentence hopefully i will do a whole class on thyroids um, later on but with this right now there's so much about nutrition and hydration techniques and a few essential oils along with lifelong vitality that can support you so if you get a 10 ml roller bottle add in 10 drops of clove myrrh lemongrass and frankincense and then top the rest off with fractionated coconut oil 
apply it to the thyroid three times a day. So if you've heard of people also using DDR Prime, that is also a great oil to be using and that can be consumed as they also have the capsules for a key consumption point for thyroid health. So that's kind of where I don't recommend going off your medications if you're on medications, but work with your doctor to see what alternative options you can do to integrate into your lifestyle in addition to the medication that you might already be on. So now with Women's Health and Hormones, doTERRA has just announced these wellness programs, which are absolutely amazing. And that's kind of where <coughs> they have three different kits that have been created. They have your immunity support. They have your mood and mind support, as well as they have pain management support. So pick and choose the kit that's right for you. If you're looking to focus on health and hormones, I would start with like the mood and mind. And that basically goes for three months where you sign that up for sign up for that. And each month they give you a different set of oils that are basically there to support mood and, man uh, mood and mind management. So depending on what area you want to focus, I definitely recommend giving these a try. And they're basically a three month series. And then again, the, after that's completed, you can either restart all over again, or you can switch it up to another one. Or if you want to have the support of all three, you can get all three at each month. So that's not an issue as well. So that's kind of where doTERRA is customizing and creating wellness kits and programs that are there to serve you. And again, if a kit isn't exactly what you're looking for, reach out to the person that again invited you to this class or enrolled you and if you don't know who just send any one of us a dm and we can help guide you to basically suggest which set of oils or which kit might be useful for you and that's where it's so beneficial so what i'm going to also suggest is if you're looking for like a sample wellness box so if you don't want to go with one of the wellness kits this is one that i would typically recommend where you either have your llv or your phytoestrogen in there, then you add the bone nutrient if you need that. So if you're getting closer to 50 or so, this is a great one to add in. The Clary Calm is also an amazing one to start with and keep in, as well as the rose oil. So this is a great way to start looking deeper into your cycles and your hormones. So I also invite you to maybe pick out a citrus, like a grapefruit, which is great for helping to balance progesterone where a couple drops under your tongue or then having a large glass of water, tangerine, lemon, slim and sassy, those also work really great. So look deeper into yourself and find what works for you. I know that some of us are carrying a very large emotional load based on what has been happening um, around us as well as different circumstances or events. So this is a load that's being correct, uh, created on our bodies where it's then basically not functioning as it should. So I invite you to start this physical healing and um, maybe things will start looking better for your emotional healing journey as well. So to kind of wind this up, what I'm gonna talk about now is the Symphony of the Cells Protocol. So Symphony of the Cells Protocol is a technique that was created by Boyd Truman, where he basically outlines for different areas of the body, there are different essential oils and different responses that you get from them in order to achieve the maximum benefit. So this is the protocol that he outlines for mat hormonal balance, where you do frankincense, then a carrier oil, then thyme, ginger, clary sage, grapefruit, Roman chamomile, yilang lang, lavender, Siberian fir. And this is something that you can go to a massage therapist and they can do for you, or it can be done within a couple of minutes by just your partner or loved one, where basically you are massaging it onto their back and, and you're not even using pressure. You're basically just taking your hand, swiping it across the surface. Then you'll see where the nose is. You'll basically hold your hand in front of their nose so that they can breathe it in. And then you're going to wipe it across the bottom of their feet. So if you are interested in learning more about this, he actually offers the first um, phase one for free on his website. So that is definitely one to go and take a look at if you are interested in learning a little bit more about that. So that's a conclusion to the class on women's health and hormones. This is where we'll talk a little bit about the business opportunity. But before that, I want to let you guys know that there is one more class left in this series on pain. 
and it will be taught by Heather Harris. So thank you for taking the time to listen and I hope you guys enjoyed this education about the essential oils and how you can use them to support your health and hormones. So if you're thinking about taking the doTERRA business to the next level, if you're wanting to learn how you can share the oils and be able to get your oils paid for, whether that be just the order that you're placing in, if it's around the $125 that you're placing each month, if you're wanting, okay, well, I love my oils, but it would be nice if I got them for free. So if you're wanting to learn more about how you can share them with others, whether you're wanting to do this as a full-time business or whether you're wanting to just do this as an opportunity where you're spending a couple hours a week um, doing this, this is where we want to reach out to you to let you know that we are welcoming you into our community. That is one of the biggest things that um, has been a part of doTERRA for myself is that I had used the oils and I've been using the oils for over six years now. And I actually just started doing the business side just over a year ago. And that's where I know the team that I am a part of with all of these other continuing education leaders that are in here. They are absolutely wonderful. We are here to support you across your education journey, across your personal journey, because this isn't just about the essential oils or selling them. It is about your personal growth. It is about your sharing your love and getting along with other women, finding other women and men in the industry that are doing this and sharing these oils and creating that community. Uh, because that's basically what it is about. It is about the community. And that's one of the biggest things um, that has drawn me in even deeper into doTERRA is the community that I'm surrounded by and the women that I'm surrounded by that help me endlessly, endlessly. I can ask for anything and they will say, yes, I will be there to support you and guide you through the next steps. So that's where we hope that if anyone, if you are open to this opportunity, reach out to the person that invited you, reach out to any one of us, and we will be happy to guide you along this journey. So thank you again for joining and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed that video about women's health and hormones, and we will see you guys next Monday for a different topic. Bye.